Hello, and welcome to our digital timesheets webinar for Hector Orchard Management Software. I just wanted to thank everyone who has joined us today. I know schedules are getting full this time of year, and we appreciate you taking the time. Let me start by introducing your hosts for this webinar. Uh, first, there's me, Dwight Sheltroun. I'm the regional account executive here on the east coast of the U.S. And also I have with me today Alan Martinez, who is one of our customer success specialists. Alan is one of our experts in setting up our orchard management software and also training teams how to use it. Essentially, I'm the sizzle and he's the steak. Hi, Alan. Hello, Dwight. Hello, everyone. Thanks for attending to this webinar. <laughs> So you've already met us, but I will uh, introduce you to who we are as a company. And I'm going to go over the current paper-based system still being used a lot. And I'm sure this will look familiar to many of you. Next, we'll go over the benefits of going digital. And then you'll get a chance to see digital timesheets in action. And lastly, we will open things up to give you a chance to stump Alan with a Q&A session. Sounds like fun to me. <laughs> All right, so who is Hector and why are we here? Hector first came to be because of a need to go paperless during harvest. Our very first thing we did was digital timesheets. We collaborated with many growers and designed the rest of our other features around this core product. Fast forward seven, several years and we offer a full range of modules with digital QC to post harvest pre-sizing and everything in between. Hector is now pr present in over 25,000 hectares around the world, uh, stretched out over eight countries and growing. We have been recognized the last two years in a row globally as a top ag tech company, and we are made up of fellow growers and packers, industry leaders in several countries, and some of the best industry experts around. Okay, so what has been the old way of doing things? Uh, you'll probably spend hours upon hours filling in paper timesheets by hand, and after that, they get turned in to the next poor soul that has to try and read the poor handwriting and start doing calculations to see if the time spent versus the bins harvested will effectively pay each person accurately. After hours of that, you get to start filing everything away in a way that you hope you can find it again. Um, at this point, everything has been handled two or three times, which is always a way to allow errors into uh, your system. So now let's fast forward to a few months past harvest and you're hoping to see where you can improve for next year and you realize you can't find how many hours were spent pruning versus mowing versus harvesting and so on and so on. So you just promise yourself you'll do better next year taking notes. Does this sound familiar to anyone? Have you ever seen your payroll staff look like this after asking one of those questions? So with all this, what does that lead to actually? Well, it leads to long days and high pressure for payroll staff. Um, it becomes more challenging to, for keeping on top of compliance. Uh, double and triple handling can cause inaccuracies every time you have to load a new point of data entry in. It's always a chance of error. Um, and then the sheer time and focus taken away from more important things on your farm. Uh, it just slows the whole process down, uh, makes for long days of uh, stressful work. I'd like to play a short video for you of what digital timesheets look like with Hector. And after that, my colleague Alan will take you through what it's like to have digital timesheets and what that means for payroll.
Okay, thanks a lot, Dwight, for all the information and the introduction as well. So everyone, as you have seen in Dwight's portion of the webinar, you saw the paper-based timesheets that you may be familiar with. Uh, as you know, paper-based timesheets are time-consuming and require a lot of manual effort. Managing these timesheets can be a headache, especially if you have a large team or a lot of workload during harvest time. On top of that, paper-based timesheets are prone to errors such as incorrect calculations or illegible handwriting, which can lead to payroll discrepancies and delays. Now let's take a look at digital timesheet. A digital timesheet system allows you to manage your employee timekeeping and payroll all in one place, which is, which is accessible online. This means you can easily access and review all of your team's information in real time, and you will have a backup um, uploaded to the cloud. With a digital system, there is no need to worry about lost, stolen, or damaged timesheets. A digital timesheet are easier to manage, more accurate, and more reliable as well. With traditional paper-based timesheets, manual entry and double handling of data are time-consuming and prone to errors. Uh, by switching to digital timesheets, you can save hours each week that would have been spent on this tedious task. Um, this not only increases your team's productivity, but also reduces the risk of errors and ensures accurate recording of hours worked. And additionally, digital timesheets can be automatically synced with your payroll system uh, by a custom export that we can develop for you. This eliminates the need for manual data entry and reduces the likelihood of mistakes. This means you can allocate more time and resources toward growing your fruits and vegetables instead of being bogged down by administrative tasks. One of the most um, significant benefits of digital timesheets is the time and money that you can save. Switching to a digital system eliminates the need for manual data entry uh, calculation and double handling. So this can save you hours of work each week, uh, reduces the risk of errors, and the time saved can be put to better use, such as growing more fruit, improving other areas of your business. Additionally, digital time just eliminate the need for paper-based forms, which can reduce your administrative um, costs as well, including printing, you know, postage and storage costs as well. Another practical impact of digital timesheets is that they allow you to have your entire team in one place, easy to manage in real time, and with a digital system, you can quickly and easily track employee hours, review time of requests, include a piece rate top off automatically, and edit or delete timesheets. Uh, this will help you to ensure that your team is working efficiently and effectively as well. And it can also help you to identify areas where you can improve productivity and performance. Furthermore, digital timesheets give you the confidence that your payroll information is accurate and that your staff will be paid on time. This is because digital timesheets eliminate errors such as incorrect calculations or lost timesheets that can cause delays in payroll processing. And with a, digital with a digital system, you can easily access payroll information and reports, which can help you to make informed business decisions and reduce the risk of errors. Right now, what I'm going to show here is a quick demo on how timesheets and payroll is works and is visualized in our dashboard, which is the um, web-based app that we have and is related. The entries here, the, both timesheets and payroll entries are related to the app records as well for the employees. So basically, as you can see on our left side, we have here um, some modules. So we have the payroll module and the timesheets module. Let's go first to the timesheet module here and just to let you know here, I'm using a demo account that we have. So at the very top, you will see that you have some options. In this case, there they are filters. So you can filter out the information as you wish. Um, 
In this case, I'm going to use a custom range of date. So here I'll be using it from January until let's do it until April 1st. So I can show you some of the records. Um, as you can see, it is our, the system is really, really fast. And now it's showing up the results for the um, date range that, that I selected. For this, just to let you know, and this works for both timesheets and payroll modules, you will be able to filter out the information also by supervisor, by staff, so by worker, um, by job, orchard, blocks, varieties, and types. So it's, if it's piece rate or hourly work. And of course, also by contractors. So as you can see here, um, we have some, some, some records, as I said, but we have the name, the, the job, orchard um, in each column, right? And also we have the start time. It specifies the hours work, the start time, and the end time. And if there is the timesheet that is still in progress, meaning that the worker didn't um, clock out, is going to show in red. So this is just to notify you and alert you that you still have an open timesheet. Okay, this is for timesheets. As you can see, it's really straightforward um, and intuitive as well. And now we will go through the payroll module here. So for the payroll module, you will be able also to filter out the results by date, supervisors, staff, um, jobs, etc. the same as in the timesheet module. Um, but here it's a little bit more extensive. Uh, the results are going to, to show up a little bit more, more extensive, even though they are also configurable. Um, and I'm going to show you here. So for example, as you can see here, we have a small button that says customize columns. If we select that option, you will be able to select which column you want to show up here in the results. Uh, and which one do you don't want to, to, to be shown? Um, maybe because it's irrelevant or maybe because you're not gonna be using that information. So for example, we have, as you can see here on our dashboard, we have date first, and then we have employee ID, rate type. And by the way, by clicking here, by clicking in, in, in these buttons, it classifies also the information um, by, by date. So um by date and alphabetical order just to let you know now if we can if we see here we have date last time first name etc right so if you don't want to show up the date as a column um here you can just click on the box and it will deactivate the option once you confirm as you can see now it's not showing it up anymore um this is really useful as i said if you want to make the information sh um, a bit more understandable or easy to read, or again, if you're not using that, that column and the information is irrelevant, then you can use that option. Something that we like and our clients like a lot is also the fact that you can rearrange the column. So for example, if you don't want the, the date column to be the first, but you want the, the last name um, to be the first column here, or let's say the first name to be the first column. So it'll be first name, last name, and then date. We can just rearrange the column by clicking and dragging the options up and down, right? So I'm going to sort first name, then last name and date. And if I click on confirm now as you can see the columns have been rearranged and now we have the order that we manipulated um, using the the customized columns option um, also you can you have the option to download a a report which we call an export um, we click on the export button then we can download the report and it's going to give you a break down of all the results that you see in the dashboard, but in, in Excel format. Um, if you want to apply some formulas, if you want to filter the results uh, using the filter option in Excel, 
you're able to do that by downloading the report, which is really interesting. Um, and yep, um, also you have the option to download a quick export here. If we select the quick export option, it's going to download the same, the exact same information that is in the dashboard as well, but with the same order that we sorted with the customize with the customize columns option. Okay, so um, let me go and show you the report. So first, I'm going to show you the report that we downloaded by clicking on the export and then the report button, which is this one. Um, this is what you will be able to see. Um, as you can see, it shows a breakdown per employee of the dates, rate type, employee ID, first name, last name, etc. These are stipulated values that we can manipulate with Excel, but we can't modify the format or the um, sort order of the columns. Um, it's really useful, as I said, it, it gives you everything that, that, that you'll need to process payroll or if you want to review um, some of, of, of the payroll processes or the um, clock in or clock out times. And now let me show you here as well the quick export. And as you can see for the quick export, it's also an Excel file. It's a CSV file. And we open it up. As you can see, it's showing the exact same information that we have in the dashboard, as I said, but with this, respecting the order of the columns that we modified with the customize columns button. And just to add here, in timesheets, you also have the option to download a, a, a timesheet report um, by clicking here on the export button and once it is processed, I'm going to the downloads here. And once it is processed, it will open up in Excel. And it will show up the same information that, that you have in the dashboard again, but in the Excel format so you can manipulate the, the data and you can add formulas if you want. Okay, so this is it. Thanks for taking the time uh, to view this, this, this demo. And well, we'll continue with the webinar. Thanks a lot. Hey, hello again, everyone. So I hope you all enjoy the, um, the demo video that, that, that we did for you. Um, so now we will go through a Q&A section. So the questions that you may have when it comes to digitally managing my payroll, this is a very common question that we, that we have received. And is that how does digital timesheets and payroll work? Um, as you have seen from the demo, it's quite simple and intuitive to manage your payroll process within the app. No more double or triple handling, and it can be done from anywhere and updated in real time. Um, also, the data is not going to, to get lost because it's securely stored in, in, on the cloud. So anytime that you want to revisit the data, uh, make some corrections or edit the timesheet, is possible just by going through the app and making the changes directly from there. Also, in case that you don't have any connection in the app, it's possible to do it offline. And once the device recovers the internet connection, the, the, the backup is gonna get uploaded to the cloud. So all the information is gonna be securely stored. The other question that, that we have is what's involved in making the move to, to, to digital um, payroll in this case. We know that transitioning to digital payroll can seem challenging, but when done properly, it doesn't have to be another headache. At Hector, the shift can be done in a matter of weeks with staff all trained up and ready to go. And also Hector staff will be available on site to support in making the change with ongoing support readily available as well. Now, the other question that we have is what sort of budget should I be setting aside? So this depends on different factors such as how big your orchard and team is and what specific needs you have. 
the other question that we have is, is digital payroll right for my orchard? So hopefully you've got a clear understanding of what digital timesheets can do for your payroll processes. If you still are unsure if digital timesheets is right for you, just feel free to contact us directly and we'll be happy to have a conversation with you and discuss your specific needs. Okay, so let's discuss the features of the specific payroll module that, that Hector offers. Um, in this case, we have full real-time visibility of team roster. This feature allows you to see who is currently working and where, so you can easily manage your team and assign tasks in real time. Uh, track sick leave, annual leave, and unpaid leave. With this feature, um, you can easily keep track of your team's leave and absence, which helps you to ensure adequate staffing and manage your resources effectively. Um, enable self-check-in using QR codes. This feature enables your team to, to check in and out of work using QR codes, which simplifies the process and eliminates the need for manual tracking. Integrate to your payroll system. Um, these features allows you to integrate a Hector payroll module with your existing payroll system, which makes it easy to transfer data and ensure that your payroll is accurate and up to date. For this, we use a, a custom export, which is a file that you can import into your system with all the data that you need to just, with a few clicks, clicks process the, the payroll. And last but not least, it tracks time and attendance with or without an internet connection. And this feature enables you to track your team's time and attendance, walk in and out times, even when you don't have internet access. This is particularly, particularly useful for remote or rural locations where internet connectivity may be limited. So here in this slide, you will be able to see a couple of integrations that we have worked with um, to, to, to give to our clients. As I mentioned before, uh, with QuickBooks, PaySource, Paylocity, MYOV, and Xero, uh, we use something that is called a custom export, which is basically a file that will contain all the data that you'll need. So you can, with a few clicks, import that file into your payroll system and process your payroll. And we have a direct integration with Gnaz. Uh, we have, we can work with many more as well. And yeah, as I said, these are a couple of, of a couple of, um, integrations that, that we have worked with, with our current clients. Now we'll proceed with the question and answer section. Um, so please type your questions on the right. You will see a, a box to type, to type the questions. So, um, yeah, so we'll be happy <laughs> to right. answer them. We've got a few questions here already. Um, I'm going to get the, uh, the pump primed with you there, Alan. Um, so is it easy for people without a tech background to pick up digital timesheets? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, at Hector, we understand that, of course, not everyone has a tech background, which is why our digital timesheet software uh, is designed to be user friendly and intuitive. And our platform is also easy to navigate and we provide training and support to help our clients to get started and feel comfortable with the, with the new technology. Perfect. All right. Um, so do you offer support after moving digital? Yeah, totally. Um, as a customer success specialist at Hector, I can assure you that we offer ongoing support after the transition from paper to digital. And our team is dedicated to helping you to get the most out of uh, our platform. And we provide training, technical support, and assistance with any issues or questions that that may arise during the process. Oh, great. Um, what about uh, security? How well are is this payroll information stored? Yeah, um, data security is a top priority for us at Hector, especially when it comes to payroll um, data. We implement robust security measures such as access controls um, and regular backups to ensure that the data is stored is stored securely in our system. Great. 
Um, and then how long does it take to transition from paper to digital? Um, well, we understand that time is the essence in, in, in the onboarding process, which is why we have made our digital time sheet so very easy to set up. The time it takes to transition from paper to digital will depend on the size of the organization, complexity of the payroll system. Um, also, if you provide all the information that we need in a, in a timely manner, but we aim to make the transitions as smooth and efficient as possible. And as a customer success specialist, I will guide you through the process and ensure you that your transition to digital timesheets is a success. Oh, great. So there's still plenty of time this season to get rolling, huh? Yeah, totally. Awesome. All right. Um, let's see. I don't see any more questions coming in. Do you see any on your end, Alan? Um, no, I don't see any more questions on the chat. So if you want to connect with us or you need any counsel from us on how to implement the, the, the software, please send us a uh, an email to Hector, hello, um, at Hector.com. That's the email. Perfect. And then we'll get that distributed out to your, your local sales and service staff. Yep. Uh, we've got teams all over the globe and both sides of the country here in the U.S. And um, so, yeah, we'll get you teamed up with the right people that are closest to you. So. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. So don't forget, hello at Hector.com. That's our email. Well, I think that pretty much concludes this webinar at this point then. Just want to thank everybody again for, uh, for showing up. Um, appreciate you taking a little chunk of time out of your day today to be with us. Uh, if you've got any more questions, you, you've got the email address, please just reach out and uh, we'll be in contact just as soon as we can. Thanks guys. Thanks everyone.